Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer, author, currently working as a Solutions Architect on Azure. In our previous recording, we have learned about the architecture of Azure Serverless Function App. In that, we have understood that Function App depends on multiple items. One of them is storage account, which is mandatory. Today, we are going to learn how to create storage account using Bicep. Before we start writing Bicep code, let's navigate to Azure Management Portal and understand how to create a storage account manually so that we understand what are the input parameters that are required for creating a storage account. Let's head over to Azure Management Portal. Right now, we are in Create a Story Account page where you can see all the input parameters that are required for creating a story account. As you can see here, the first one is storage account name, and then a region, and then a performance, which could be either standard or premium. By default, it is standard. And finally, redundancy. We will go with LRS, which stands for locally redundant storage. These are the inputs that are mandatory for creating any storage account. Rest of the other inputs, we will leave them to default values. Let's get started writing bicep code. As you can see here, I have created a new folder for Azure Story account. And let me now create a new file where we can start writing code for storage account. I'll name it as file.storageaccount.bicep. Let me type in storage account and choose the first one, which creates the default template for working with storage account. I'll leave the symbolic name as is and then let me create parameters for name location. Param storage account name which is a string and then param location. Is also a string which comes from resource group. Let me also prefix the story account name with P because it's a parameter. Now I'm going to use the parameter story account name here and then let me also use the location parameter here. The kind will be storage v2 version 2. Leave that as is. Now, SKU currently it is selected as premium LRS. But if you remember in the portal, we have selected standard LRS. So let's change this from premium LRS to standard LRS. I pressed control space so that this autocomplete gets opened now we can choose standard lrs and press tab now this code is sufficient for creating a storage account if you remember in the architecture diagram we discussed that storage account and azure function app must be linked so we need the reference of storage account within Azure function app while creating the function app. So it makes sense to return storage account unique ID after the storage account is created. Let's work on adding the code to return the storage account ID after it is successfully created. Let's head over back to 
Visual Studio Code and make the changes of returning the story account ID. As we all know, Bicep supports creating output parameters using output. And let me provide a name a storage account ID, which is a string. Now let's assign some value using the symbolic name storage account dot ID. Let's save the changes. I'm pressing Control S to save the changes. And now we need to invoke this story account dot bicep from a main file. Now I don't want to use the zero dot main dot bicep file. I would like to create a new one because function app requires multiple services to be created. So let me create a new main file. I will name it as serverless dot bicep. Now the serverless dot bicep have added to two parameters story account name and location. Where location will be the one that is used for resource group. Now let's invoke the story account bicep module. Just provide storage account underscore module. Then the path will be story account dot bicep. So let's provide a name. I'll just copy paste the symbolic name of the module and then specify the parameters. So let's copy paste the parameters. That's it. Now, once we are done with serverless.bicep, we also need to create a parameters file because serverless.bicep is a new main file. Obviously, we also need parameters to be passed. So I've created a serverless.parameters.json and right now we just need one parameter called p story account name. I've also provided a value for the same. Let's now execute the serverless.bicep by passing serverless.parameters.json. I'm ready with the command. Let me hit enter. It takes some time. I'll be back once it is done. As you can see here, I got an error uh, because the story account name has some invalid characters. It doesn't allow hyphens. It only allows alphanumeric characters that to smaller case. So let me remove hyphens. Save the file and rerun the command. Took some time and this time it got succeeded. Let's head over to Azure Management Portal and see if our Azure storage account is created. As you can see here, the storage account is successfully created. Let's also navigate to deployments. We just had one successful deployment. Its name is Story Account Module. And if you remember, we only created Story Account in this deployment. And let's also go to outputs. And as you can see, the Story Account ID is the output of this deployment. We are going to use this storage account ID in our subsequent videos. So that's it for this video. We have learned how to create a storage account using Bicep and you also return story account ID as output, which will be used in upcoming upcoming videos. That's it for this. Thank you so much for watching.
please feel free feedback in the comment section i will see you in the next video thank you bye bye to leave your